Hey guys, today we're here with Bluey and we're going to explore outer space today and learn all kinds of fun and interesting facts. But first, Bluey wants to turn into an astronaut herself. We are going to make Bluey her own astronaut helmet today in a craft. It's going to look just like this astronaut helmet. You can follow along and make your own helmet as well. Maybe one for you or one for one of your plushy friends too. First, we're going to need some foil. Then we have this plastic that we got actually from a muffin container. We just washed it out and we're going to use that. We're also going to need scissors, but be very careful. You might need a grown-up's help. Maybe mom or dad or someone big can help you do some of the cutting so that you stay safe. We're going to need a lot of foil to make the outside of the helmet. And this piece is we're going to use for the front so that Bluey can see out when she's on her space adventures. The first thing we're going to do is cut some of this foil for the outside of the helmet. Now we're going to take that foil and we're going to fit it around Bluey's head so it's a perfect fit, nice and snug and comfy. Now we're going to cut off the extra foil so that it's a perfect fit. That's starting to look great! Bluey, you look so cool! Let's cut off the extra parts around her face so that she can see really well outside and observe all of the cool space adventure things she's going to see. Now we're just going to cut off the extra parts of the plastic for her visor. That's the front of the helmet where she can see out. This is why it's clear. Wow, that's a perfect fit, Bluey. You're going to have a lot of fun on your space adventure. And here's what Bluey the astronaut looks like when she's finished. Bluey is ready to go on her space adventure and learn all kinds of awesome space facts. We made Bluey an astronaut helmet, just like this astronaut. Astronauts have to have a lot of parts on their suit so that it keeps them safe when they're in space. Let's have a closer look at the parts on them. A helmet, just like Bluey's, a camera to take pictures, a checklist, a backpack, a control panel, a visor to see through, a mirror to see around them, and a tether to keep them anchored so they don't float away. Let's have a closer look at some of the cool things that have to do with space. Space is everything around our planet Earth. 
and much farther beyond. No one knows how big space is, but there's a lot to explore. Our place in space is a group of planets that circle around the sun. It's called a solar system. We live on the third planet from the sun, so let's start by exploring our neighborhood. Here, down here, is the sun. These are the planets closest to the sun. This is the planet we live on called Earth. This planet is Mars, then Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. These are the planets closest to the sun, Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. This is a rocket that we use to send people into space. Astronauts study for lots of years before they can actually go to space, and they bring us back awesome information about what it's like beyond our planet. Around our planet, special pieces of machinery called satellites send the information back to Earth. Satellites beam all their information into these large bowl-shaped receivers that are on Earth. We don't know if there's life anywhere else in our solar system like aliens, but we have a lot of fun imagining it. We're very used to seeing the sun in the sky, but did you know it's actually a star? The sun is the nearest star to Earth, sitting at the center of our solar system. The light and heat from this huge spinning ball of hot gas is what allows there to be life on Earth. But don't look, the sun is so bright that looking directly in it can actually damage your eyes. At the very middle of the sun is something called the core. This super hot core is where the sun generates its light and heat. The Earth's surface is made up of plates, like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle which can move around. It takes Earth a year to travel around the sun. The Earth's middle is also called the core, just like the sun, and it's also made of very hot metal, as hot as the surface of the sun. Oh, ouch, 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 that's a super hot sun! As the Earth goes around the sun, different parts tilt towards it, and that's what makes seasons. That's why some places are hotter or colder at different times of the year. These are the planets. A planet is a large, mostly round object that travels around a star. Our planet Earth is one of eight planets that travels around the sun. Each planet is very different. Let's meet the different planets. This is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet. It's covered in craters that are left by rocks called meteoroids hitting the planet. This is the planet we live on called Earth. Earth is the only planet with liquid water at the surface and lots of plants and animals and human beings, of course, everywhere. This planet is called Mars. Mars is known as the red planet because it's red. It is dry and rocky and it has two oddly shaped moons. This planet is called Venus. Venus is a cloudy planet that spins very slowly and it's actually the hottest planet in our whole solar system. This blue planet down here is called Neptune. Neptune is a windy planet farthest from the sun. It's so far away that it takes 165 Earth years to travel around the sun. Wow, that's a long time. This planet is called Uranus. It's an icy blue-green planet that is tipped, so it spins actually on its side. This large, very cold planet is known as an ice giant and it actually has rings around it and a lot of moons. This planet here is called Saturn. Saturn is a large planet with enormous icy rings going all around it, and it has more than 60 moons. Wow, that's a lot. And the last planet we're going to look at is called Jupiter. Jupiter is a stripy planet with a red spot, and we actually know that's a big storm. It's the largest planet in our solar system, and out of all of them, it has the most moons. Look at me! I'm floating around in the solar system! Whee! When we look beyond our solar system, scientists have found lots of other planets in space traveling around the stars. Planet Earth only has one moon, but we can often see it in the sky. Did you know there are lots of other moons out there too? Actually, astronomers have found more than 180 moons going around planets in our solar system and more get discovered all the time. Look at me, everyone. I'm landing on the moon. 
These holes here are called craters. They get caused by pieces of rocks hitting the surface. With no weather to blow away the damage, the craters can be seen for billions of years later. That's a long, 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 long time. As the moon goes around the earth, we see different amounts of it being lit up by the sun. Sometimes it looks really thin, like a crescent, and sometimes it looks really full, like a ball. These are called phases of the moon. The moon is a very good friend to the earth. It keeps Earth stable as we travel around the sun. It gives our oceans the tides that help move water around the planet. And of course, it helps us see at night. At night, we see thousands of twinkly dots of lights in the sky. It's amazing to understand that each one of these is a star, a very bright ball of hot gases that's like our sun. Galaxies are huge collections of stars, all grouped together. Stars can help us find our way on Earth and in space, and they tell us a lot about the universe. Yellow stars are nearest to the sun. They're very important to us. Groups of stars in the sky seem to make shapes and patterns, and they're given special names like this one called the Big Dipper. It is part of a bigger group of stars that's called a constellation. A galaxy is a collection of dust, gas, and millions or trillions of stars. The universe probably contains more than 100 billion galaxies. There are so many amazing things to see in the night sky. What have you seen? Check it out! Stars are not star-shaped at all. Each star is a big ball of swirling gases that gives off lots and lots of light and heat. Just like flames, stars can be different sizes and colors. Blue stars are hotter and red stars are cooler. Earth is in a galaxy called the Milky Way, named because it looks a little bit like spilt milk stretching across the sky. In our solar system, as well as planets and moons, there are smaller chunks of rock, metal, and ice, like mini worlds going around the sun, from speeding ice comets to huge rocky asteroids. Let's find out about these amazing objects and how we see them from Earth. An asteroid is a rocky or metallic lump traveling through space in a big circle around the sun. Some are small and others are huge. Comets can seem like dirty snowballs in space. Some spend hundreds or even millions of years far away beyond the planets. When they loop near the sun, they form a bright tail that we can sometimes see from Earth. A meteoroid is a small piece of an asteroid or a comet traveling through space. Sometimes they crash into Earth, where they're called meteorites. The biggest meteorite ever found on Earth is called the Hoba meteorite, and it landed in Africa and weighs more than 30 cars. There is only so much we can find out about space with telescopes. To explore properly, we have to go there. Astronauts have been going into space and finding out what it's really like. Let's explore some of the amazing things that make space travel possible. These are some important parts of an astronaut. The camera, lights, visor, the display and control panel, a mirror to view things, a tether to attach to the spacecraft, strong boots, heated gloves, a checklist, and of course, the helmet, just like Bluey has. A spacesuit is like a mini personal spacecraft for astronauts. It protects them when they have to leave the safety of the spacecraft. The strong visor is covered with a thin layer of gold to protect the astronaut. The spacesuit also includes a big backpack, which contains air so that they can breathe, water to cool the suit, batteries for power, a radio, and an alarm system just in case. Attached to the back of the suits are small jets. If an astronaut becomes detached from the space station, they can use the jets to fly back. Wow, that is super cool! I'm glad I have my space helmet to protect me and my visor so that I can see out and explore different things in space. Spinning around our planet, satellites tell us all kinds of information. For example, what the weather will be like. A probe is a robotic spacecraft. It can travel without astronauts even on board. Lunar rovers, like moon buggies, these amazing rovers allowed astronauts to drive around on the moon. Wow, we learned a lot about space today. I am so glad you guys were here to learn with me. I hope you'll join me next time for another Bluey learning video. Bye, guys! Yeah.